Okay, today the first order of business is to remove these racers and these bearings from this and other side. Let's do that. Uh, these racers proved to be tough. to trim it a little bit around um, so you have a perfect fit this will help us to be safer to do this <laughs> I always use the seat, yes. I always use the fan, not the torch, because you know I, I cannot regulate torch so fine as this fan, and I think it's quite good for this application. You know, this is regular paint stripping. Rolice studenti starci muhe zmije gošteri komarci kamion dvije bajkeri ludi australci kockari lopovi sumnjivi neznanci nevine žrtve živčanog sloma skitnice jadne bez ok let's try this I say it wasn't uh, some cringe moment, you know, because it was, I used pretty amount of force and I was afraid, but after hitting some more, something gave up, so we hope, yeah, the racer is pulled out. she's almost out so now I need to figure out to extract it 
even more. Necessity is mother of all inventions. Oh, motherfucker. Okay, so... Straight two hours took me to remove this razor. And if you think, here is the one. And if you think that is bad, now I need to remove the razor from other side, but I don't have access from back as I did on this one. And frankly, frankly, what works is a heat gun and this pulling method. You know, I put the this one on the back and then with this thread rod force it out and heating of course the other problem was when I come to the edge then I need to fear something on top of it so I can pull it all the way out so now I will first give myself a second to figure out uh, how I will do this. Let me just show you what I did. Uh, actually the racer from the other side come out quite from first try. So I need for this that should be easier I need like two hours and for this I need like 15 minutes. So uh, yeah, I guess you see I just took this shim that I use on other side and just cut it from the sides so it can go into here and um, also, uh, the hole on it is bigger than the rod, so it can twist a little bit. So it just go, went in, and when I pull back, it stayed on that way. I heat it up very well, and that, that is re like really, really important, because when I heat it up really well, uh, almost immediately, um, the racer starts to come out. As far as um, the bearings, I had a trouble because I cannot use that bat, you know, that tool that I got, but I use the extension of that tool. So I just put it there, not this one, this one is bigger, but the same one, put it there. And then from the other side, um, put the steel road and hit it here and on that way I almost immediately pull off the uh, one bearing and then of course another one was easy uh, this one let me just get you have this on the inner road so you need to watch, you know, not to damage it and put it back. I disassemble this part so it just come off, but uh, so this is the only retainer for that. But uh, don't be surprised if you have problem to take it off because it can stuck to the, these rubbers. Uh, you know, quite, I almost thought that something is holding it or it, it's glued or something. Uh, so I, I clean everything 
uh, I spray this with um, silicone spray just to give them a little life and I will continue with detail cleaning of everything uh, put the bearing in my fridge um, but before everything before I can I mean I can go and start assembly the rear wheel but for the swing arm as I said in last video I need to paint the swing arm uh, you see here a lot of corrosion I remove and I'll need to clean this inside rust and everything so yeah that 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 definitely um, is a uh, quite a job that I wasn't expecting well, firstly we will uh, clean this very well painted with the spray uh, put the bearings new racers put it on the bike and start assembly the whole bike and you know it will be quite refreshing to, to you know start to putting stuff back on and these are the all uh, racers and I will not throw them yet because I will use them to put the new ones in so I will leave it here okay Whew.